Hello boys, welcome back to St Columbus again. Today I want to talk to you about how we recognise and acknowledge your progress. Lots of different ways that we do it and many of your teachers will have their own particular methods but we have some school methods uh, that we look at across the board. Probably the biggest way that we acknowledge and recognise your performance is using something called attitude to learning grades. Now every half term, every six weeks, your teachers will award you a number from one down to four. One is the best number, four is the worst number that you can get. Now this is about your approach to your work, your approach or your attitude to your lessons. It's not about how good you are at the work, so you don't have to be a stunning speaker of French or a fantastic geographer. What you have to be is a good student, somebody who tries their best at all times, who tries really, really hard. And if you can demonstrate a really good attitude, trying really hard, meeting all the deadlines for your work, getting to lesson on time, doing your homework, all those sorts of things, then your teachers are going to be inclined to give you a one or a two on attitude to learning. If you don't manage to do those things, if you don't bother doing your homework, etc., then your teachers are going to be giving you threes and fours. Obviously, I want you getting ones and twos. Every time we do the data collection, we analyse the results. We look at who's got the ones and the twos and so on. And in an assembly, we will award some stars for your progress. So what that means is that if in five or more of your subjects, including English and maths, you score a one or a two, then we will award you a little yellow star. I often call it the gold star and you get to wear this on your blazer. But there is a second star that you can get. If you get a grade one in all of your subjects then we will present you with the red star. Now clearly if we're doing this every half term there are six opportunities in the year to win stars so you could walk out at the end of the year with six stars down the side of your blazer. Once a term, so every 12 weeks or so, we have a commendation assembly and that's where we invite your parents to come in and see you being presented with your stars. There might be certificates being awarded for different things, there might be some nominations from SLT, from me, from the assistant head teachers and so on. So we have that way of recognising your progress. On a day-to-day -day basis, though, in your lessons, teachers might give you a good note in your planner. So they might ask you for your planner and write a good note for your parents or your guardians or carers to see. They might record in there that they've given you a merit mark and you can collect those merit marks over a period of time. And when you get to certain numbers, 25, 50, 40, 60, all that sort of thing, we will present you with a certificate for that level of achievement as well. Every lesson, the teachers will select their very best student for that day. So if someone's made a particularly good contribution to the lesson, produced a good piece of work and so on, they might decide that that student is the star of the lesson, in which case they will present that star of the lesson with a little wristband that they can wear for the remainder of the day. My advice is always, if you get given that in a period five, so the last lesson of the day, try not to put it on your wrist straight away, keep it until the following morning and then you've got a whole day when you can wear it. We do also have a house point system and we're going to go over to Mr Martin right now who's going to explain how the houses work and then I'll come back to you afterwards and talk a little bit more about that. So right now over to Mr Martin. Hello boys, I'm in my office now. My office is at the very front of the school. So if I'm ever needed, I'm at the front of our school. Right, message I want to tell you now is the houses. You will all be given a different house. A bit like Hogwarts, where you're in different houses. You may have a blue one. That's Beckett House. You may have a green one. Campion. You may... Be put in Fisher House or Loyola. Even more, or lastly, Xavier, who are the purples. I am Beckett. 
they're my house. Thank you, Mr Martin, there, for explaining how the house system works and what the different houses are. How do we use those houses in our day-to-day -day work? Well, we use them in lots of different ways. Teachers can award you house points within their lesson time, and they'll give that information over to me as your head of year. We run different house competitions. We do a lot of sports competitions that are inter-house, so between the houses. So look out for those when you join us. We can always see how the houses are doing because we add a section into our weekly news showing the different totals for the houses. You might even have seen that yourself if you've been looking at our weekly news while you've been waiting to join us. There's a bar chart that appears on there, multicolour chart, one colour for each of the houses that shows how they're doing. If you've seen this week's weekly news, you'll also have noticed that there is a bit of a competition running between a couple of the boys in Year 7 to reach 100 points individually. Which leads me on to the next point, which is we don't just total them for the house in all. We also keep a note of who's getting those points, which boys are doing particularly well on their house points. So I keep an individual tally of that. So pretty much we can use the house points in any way that we want. You might have some ideas for competitions that we could run to win some house points. Keep an eye out, though, because we are currently putting some more video messages together, some of which might require you to answer some questions and if you get those questions right there might be some house points awarded there so you might even get house points before you join us you don't know what house you're in currently but i do i'm working on that job as we speak right now allocating you to your house group and i will tell you as soon as i can that's about it for today though so as ever i'm looking forward to seeing you all in person as soon as we're able but in the meantime have a good rest of the day take care of yourselves take care of your families and we will speak to you again soon bye bye now